In this video, I'll demonstrate how to perform Pearson R correlation in SPSS. This test is used to measure the relationship between two or more variables. The following assumptions must be met. First, the independent and dependent variables should be measured at the interval or ratio scale. Second, there should be no significant outliers or extreme cases. Third, the variables should be approximately normally distributed. This is how to state the research question. Is there a significant relationship between job satisfaction and organizational commitment of employees? The independent variable is job satisfaction and the dependent variable is the organizational commitment. The overall mean of these variables will be used in the analysis of Pearson R correlation. Now let's have software applications in SPSS. Let's click first the variable view. This is to where we set the variables of the study. Our independent variable is job satisfaction and the dependent variable is organizational commitment. The measure must be scaled because based on the assumptions, the data must be at interval or ratio. Let's click the data view. We can see here the overall mean score per respondent in both of the variables. So to analyze the data, we click Analyze, Correlate, Bivariate. You place the variables in the right box using this arrow. The default is Pearson, but we also have here the non-parametric test, the Kendall Tau, and the Spearman Raw. But we will use the Pearson R in this tutorial. We will also choose the two-tailed test of significance. You click OK. So we have here the results of analysis. The Pearson correlation coefficient, we also call this one as the R value. This is the measure of strength and direction of relationship. So the direction of relationship, we can observe that one whether the value is positive or negative. If the value is positive, then the relationship is directly proportional. If the value is negative, then the relationship is inversely proportional. The strength of relationship is from 0 to 1. 0 means no correlation and 1 means perfect correlation. But in real life, it's rare that we can find a perfect relationship. So sometimes it's near to 1 or near to 0. If that's near to 1, then the relationship is high or strong. If that's near to 0, then the relationship is low. Another parameter that we need to consider is the p-value. This sig is the p-value. If the p-value is less than or equal to 0 0.05, then the relationship is significant. If the p-value is above 0 0.05, then the relationship is not significant. In our result, the p-value is less than 0 0.05. This means that there is a significant relationship between job satisfaction and organizational commitment. The Pearson R correlation coefficient revealed a positive and strong relationship between the two variables. This suggests that the increase in job satisfaction would also likely increase the organizational commitment of employees.